Hello guys and gals, it is F1 Backwards here, back with another F1 2019 Achievement Guide. And in this one we are going for the Sportsmanship Achievement, in which you have to reach maximum Sportsmanship Rating. Now with that, basically you have one big bar, on the left side is Sportsmanship, and on the right is Showmanship. Now in this video, are all the answers you need to get nothing but Sportsmanship Ratings. These answers should be usually saying nice things about your team, your rivals, your dr uh, other drivers, etc, etc. I'll come to that a little bit later on. So best place to start on career mode is of course the F2 series. Because if you do that, you could get a little 10% head start before you join the F1 circus. Now how this works isn't actually complicated, but it all comes down to more luck when you get interviewed and the questions clear the interviewer asks. Now, one more big tip that I can give you is, because you only get 10 seconds or so to answer when you join F1, now once you're in the loading screen, press the start button for options, go to preferences and then gameplay settings, at the bottom you see press interview time limit, make sure to switch that to off, to have an even easier time with no pressure answering. So thanks to Alpha Arty on trueachievements.com actually for this, there is a percentage of when you'll get interviewed. Now it's usually 33% after any practice sessions, 50% after qualifying, and usually 100% after a race, but there have been two or three instances I haven't been interviewed after a race, and that's down to just getting off the line on pole and winning with no other contact with walls or any cars. So it seems if you want to have an interview after the race, have a little wheel-to-wheel -wheel action with another driver or two, because apparently a clean race doesn't warrant an interview. As for the questions, again, this is just pure luck, as she can ask you anywhere between two to four questions. But if she asks about the team or any other department, and you choose an answer that increases or decreases that particular department, that doesn't actually count towards your sportsmanship achievement. You need to actually see where it says sportsmanship increased in the bottom left corner. And the best things I found to answer are, like I said, anything good about any other drivers, as you will see on here, and mainly about your rivals, usually Lucas Weber, I had all the questions directed to. Answers about your team are about 50-50, because it could go in a sportsmanship way, or it could go to increasing your rep way. Bear in mind though, again, she could ask the same questions now and again. Now another good thing though, is if you just want to blast this achievement out very quickly, what you can do is just crash out of every single practice, quali and race, and answer the questions. If your team rep goes all the way down, to nothing and you get fired, that's still fine because your sportsmanship counter and rating will stay the exact same. But what seems to be a good case for getting a few decent sportsmanship points is having your F2 rival Weber qualifying alongside you. So if you're in one of the best cars, you know, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, etc, you will have more chance of him alongside you on the grid, therefore more questions and then getting more points. Again, you can get very lucky and unlucky with this. I had Weber qualifying second with me on pole five races in a row, which in turn gave me questions all about him, so I had about three or four sportsmanship ratings after every qualifying session and race. In the end though, I unlocked this achievement in Australia season two, but of course be wary it may take you a bit longer, I know some people have unlocked it at the end of season two, the beginning of season three, so again keep that in mind. But now all the talking is done, I will leave you with nothing but the questions and the correct answers to those questions. So ho I really hope this helps you out guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Wow, well, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Well, that's everything. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Appreciate your time. Well, thanks anyway. You had a bit of contact today. Who was at fault there? Appreciate your time. It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid.
You're breaking all expectations. What's your... Things looked close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? Appreciate your time. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? You had a close battle today, didn't you? Appreciate your time. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Well, thanks anyway. Do you think your rival learned from his battle with you? You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Appreciate your time. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Well, thanks anyway. You're breaking all expectations. Appreciate your time. That was a good race for Lucas. Are you pleased to see him doing well? Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Great, well that's everything. It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? Appreciate your time. A superb qualifying performance from your old F2 teammate today. How does it feel to be on the front of the grid with your old F2 teammate beside you? It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Appreciate your time. That was a close race with Lucas. As former teammates, you must know each other's moves well. How does it feel sharing a Formula One podium with your old F2 teammate? It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Appreciate your time. Lucas was on fire in qualifying today. It must be a great feeling to be on the front of the grid with Lucas alongside. Are you happy with where you'll be on the grid tomorrow? Appreciate your time. Lucas by today's finish. Can we look forward to more of the same? You and Lucas seem to enjoy yourselves up on the podium today. Do you think that your close rivalry has helped you out this season? You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Well, that's everything. Tell us about qualifying. Lucas was on top form today, wasn't he? How does it feel to be on the front of the grid with your old F2 teammate beside you? 
It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Great. Well, that's everything. You seemed evenly matched with Lucas today. Is it hard to surprise a former teammate out on the track? How does it feel sharing a Formula One podium with your old F2 teammate? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Great, well that's everything. A superb qualifying performance from your old F2 teammate today. It must be a great feeling to be on the front of the grid with Lucas alongside. What was the secret of your qualifying pace? Appreciate your time. How do things stand between you and Lucas now you've come out on top of your comp? Some excellent overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Appreciate your time. Lucas was on fire in qualifying today. How does it feel to be on the front of the grid with your old F2 teammate beside you? It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Appreciate your time. There wasn't much between you and Lucas by the finish today. You and Lucas seem to enjoy yourselves up on the podium today. Great, well that's everything. How does the car handle in the wet? Do you have any worries going into the race and qualifying? Tell us about qualifying. Lucas was on top form today, wasn't he? It must be a great feeling to be on the front of the grid with Lucas alongside. Are you happy with where you'll be on the grid tomorrow? Great, well that's everything. You had a pretty close finish with Lucas. What's it like racing a former teammate? How does it feel sharing a Formula One podium with your old F2 teammate? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Appreciate your time. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? Appreciate your time. That. How do you think Lucas will find his new team?
It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? <laughs>